Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Ghost Signal Overview. So far this year has changed its trajectory to be a roguelike season. We've had rhythm era, shooter era and now it's roguelike. Like, they tend to receive a very good feedback on the platform since it can be scattered all across the genres and it doesn't limit itself to be just in one direction only. Alongside that, this is another space game, so we have couple trends going on here. Question is, at the end of the day, which one's gonna be the best? So Ghost Signal is a space action roguelite game where we're gonna discover a broad universe that's home to multiple alien species, fight with them or befriend their colonies, expand your fleet yourself and find out what's the mysterious Ghost Signal. Right out of the gate, this seems to be pretty much similar to Eternal Starlight. I suppose this one is set in a more fantasy setting and it's gonna be much more streamlined with the upgrade paths and just managing your ships in general it's kind of like an RPG of some sort. The creatures itself looks very highly detailed and very unique concept wise like I've never seen anything like this and we'll be able to interact with them or just I don't know like have a whole as dialogues and just discover what's out there in a very small form factor or like a planet. Coming from other space games I wonder if everything is gonna be easy to understand because this genre tends to over complicate itself where you have to spend a lot of time in the beginning to grasp the controls possible mechanics it's not like it should be simple but be convenient for the player and easy to use then you can easily introduce some more complex features very intriguing overall it's not necessarily my type of thing but the whole package I'm very much curious about so let's go to space Good day, Captain. Fear your synthetic intelligence, ready as always. The environment? Oof. Stunning. The best one out of the space runner I see. Everything's so fucking detailed. The deep space receiver has picked up a stray signal. It is behaving erratically. We should return to base and analyze it. Like just the depth of being here. I can tell the distances between the particles like... Ah! Before we set off, let's make sure everything is fully operational. Starting by reviewing how... Note the enemy hull indicator on this hologram. When depleted, the target is destroyed. The short-range blaster cannon does increased damage against hull. Ammunition circles the crosshair. The what? Aim with right hand, fire with right trigger. Oh, okay. It's manual. Excellent shooting, as always, Captain. Ammunition refills automatically over time. As for threats armed with shields, the long-range laser will inflict the most damage. I can do that, okay. Right thumb stick. Well done. Shields are always depleted before hull, so try to adapt to the situation. Missiles have near infinite range and are very effective against both hull and shields. <laughs> but they are very slow. It's straightforward, which I like. Missiles are powerful, but have limited ammunition. More ammunition can be salvaged from hostile encounters. Weapon system calibration complete, Captain. Let's check ship movement controls. Oh. That's kind of interesting. Ah, 
I never would think about a solution like that. Excellent. Ready to move out, Captain. Valuable resources can be salvaged from hostile ships, but also from drifting rocks. Our scanner has near infinite reach. Well done, Captain. The laser is recommended when targeting asteroids due to its long range. functions as currency in this part of the universe. I'm receiving bits of the strange signal again. It is most certainly more than space static. Ancient, but decryptable. Let's return to base. Mm. Welcome back to UNE Outpost FS612, Captain. The strange signal has been analyzed. When decrypting the irregular pulses emanating from deep space, we found a faint embedded message. It is impossible to decipher its meaning without context. Advanced decryption might shed some light. Establishing uplink to the UNE core server. Stand by. Strange. Uplink to UNE HQ is non responsive. Re establishing connection. Re establishing. Catastrophic waveform incoming. Energy reading immeasurable. Brace for impact. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay. Nice introduction. But nothing happened? Captain, the anomalous event has ceased. Personnel and technology are seemingly unharmed, apart from a few key functions. Strangely, long-range communication and skip drive are non-functional, while all other systems are intact. We cannot return to a core system or receive vital resources like nutrients. We should not rule this out as an attack. It seems deliberate. Still transmitting. I have traced the signal, and it originates from the same direction as the energy wave. To reach the source, we need to go into uncharted space. It is imperative, Captain. If we do not solve our situation, we will perish. Hostile ships approaching, Captain. These parts of space are not safe. Remember to switch between blaster and laser. The blaster has a shorter range and is most efficient against enemy hull. One final thing. Our own ship shield recharges between sectors. As long as we don't deplete our ship hull, we stand a chance. <laughs> nice. It's interesting so far, like, I'm curious. Because we don't control the whole fleet, it's just one ship, which I can focus. Do you see that object emitting a beacon? Scan it to retrieve a component. They provide powerful improvement. Select which component to equip. Uh, this doesn't seem bad. Because if that would be damage, 
then it's fine, but I think decoys. All components grant new powers. Finding the right combination will be crucial for the success of our journey. Components can also be bought from traders and upgraded using scrap in the ship components menu. But what I do now? Go here? Our radar has detected a new threat, fast approaching. This enemy will try to charge at us at high speed. Moving out of its path would be advisable. Use the thrusters to quickly escape if needed. Finally, while plotting a path, our perception of time slows down. We can use this to chain waypoints and maneuver out of harm's way. Not the easiest controls of the movement, but incoming. Ow. What I don't necessarily enjoy is the whole switching of the environments. Because you can easily travel here, like that would be so cool between the sectors and maybe like fast teleport, you know, planet to planet without loading screens. This is very short lived and this is like a decision making speed paths. So I don't know. This sector contains a creature, a non-hostile space whale. It is too big to challenge, but scan it to retrieve a unique component. Uh -huh. Increased mind when the strength asteroids. Many more alien creatures exist out there, both friendly and hostile. Next time, there is no telling what we might encounter. It's interesting, it's not like streamlined, because we have decisions where to go exactly. Oh, so this drone is like active constantly, okay. No time to relax, Captain. I know. Ooh, nice dodge.
there is some skill to it, like... It's not easy nor hard. You just need to be in control of controls. <laughs> and just focus on the battlefield. I suppose you can destroy those asteroids for resources. But it's cute so far. At least I'm not confused by the whole system of ships. We don't do anything with the left joystick, so I wonder if the movement could be solved here. It's not bad. It's different. <laughs> So what's this? Ah, okay, like a next sector. Danger, Kimura. Maybe like a boss fight? Also, why we have like a developer menu? We can add stuff to ourselves. Like a cheat system inside of the base game? Why? So overall, I get what's going on here. It's like a gorgeous game, honestly, looking at the environment and just touring around. I don't have many notes because I enjoy the combat, the movement could be better, but it's sufficient. The only thing, I guess, is just switching between the stages, which I know is just solved because of the performance, which is flawless, like there's literally nothing wrong with it. And overall, the game is very fun, like I can see people that are into this stuff very much enjoying this. If I'm gonna do something with it, who knows? Because it's not overly complicated, it's easy to get into, like it seems like roguelikes are just my type of thing that I can easily get into. It's like a bunch of stages that you choose which path to go with. Then you have bosses and a big something at the end <laughs> that's like the main gameplay it's pretty cool overall so we'll see how it's gonna go and yeah 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 <laughs>